हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यू टुडे आई एम रीडिंग द फ्री ऑफ गोल्ड रिटन बाय द ग्रेट सुधा मूर्ति दिस इज द मैथोलॉजिकल स्टोरी दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ रघु द एंसेस्टर ऑफ रामा लेट्स गो थ्रू इट Raghu an ancestor of Rama and a famous warrior and popular Suryavamshi king had a vast kingdom that extended over most of what today comprises India and Pakistan as well as parts of Central Asia whenever he won a war he would perform a big yagna and give arms to whoever approach him in the kingdom live a poor boy named kosteya kosteya was an excellent student and his teacher imparted knowledge to him without any expectation of guru dakshina from a boy as poor as him in time kosteya completed his education and asked his teacher guru ji what dakshina may i give you please tell me i know your background said the guru and i don't want any fees you have been a wonderful disciple go ahead and spread your knowledge to others i'll consider that my fees i bless you my child now find your path and serve your destiny but kosteya insisted i believe that education is incomplete until i pay the teachers fees i must give you something the guru registered but kosteya was insistent finally the guru lost his temper and said if you are so adamant then give me 10 lakh gold coins if you can't then admit that you can't pay take my blessings and be on your way kosteya was caught by surprise he had not expected his teacher to ask for such an amount he grew worried how will i procure so much wealth perhaps i should have left when my teacher told me to but my ego got in the way now i have to try my best he thought with your blessings guru ji i will get this money and give it to you said kosteya and departed as he journeyed through a thick forest kosteya thought about the task ahead of him whom can i approach he wondered suddenly he thought of king raghu he was certain that the king wouldn't turn him away empty handed so kosteya made his way to raghu's palace once kosteya reached the palace king raghu received him respectfully with pots of water when kosteya saw the earthen pots he became disappointed a king carrying such pots must not have much to give his guest the king however was hospitable and asked kosteya the reason for his visit o oh, learned man your wish is my command why have you come to visit me hesitantly kosteya said i seek 10 lakh gold coins king raghu was not perturbed i have just completed my yagna and donated all that i could he said now i am left only with these earthen vessels but it is my duty to fulfill your desire please give me some time to arrange this money for you that night raghu lay in bed and wonder where should i get this money from perhaps kubera the lord of wealth will be able to help i am a king and cannot ask for arms or money so the only choice i have is to fight kubera and defeat him 
then I can emerge victorious and hand over the money to Kausteya. Next day, Raghu marched north with a few select soldiers to Kubera's abode. They traveled all night and halted outside Alkavati, Kubera's capital city. Kubera had many spies who observed all that was happening in his kingdom day and night. Soon enough, a few spies ran back to the palace and warned him, Your Highness, the great warrior King Raghu has come prepared to wage a war against you. And it is all because of a promise that he made to Sage, assuring him that he would give him 10 lakh gold coins. Kubera was surprised to learn about Raghu's intentions and use his magical powers to locate Raghu, who was sleeping under a shami tree in the forest. Quickly, he transformed the leaves of the tree into gold coins. When Raghu awoke, the next morning, he saw the tree covered with gold coins. He understood that it was Kubera's magic at work. He said to the soldiers, our mission is already complete and there is no need to go to war. Let's take down 10 lakh gold coins from the tree and leave the rest as is. The life of king must be like that of a sage with minimal to no attachments. Raghu headed back to his kingdom after gathering 10 lakh gold coins and sent word to Kostya to come and collect the money. Meanwhile, the gods had been watching and seeing Raghu's good intentions. They blessed him and his kingdom with prosperity. Kostya collected the coins and handed them to his teacher who was pleasantly surprised and blessed his student. Your Guru Dakshina is complete. Go and prosper in this world, my child. The Guru then donated all the gold coins to the poor that very day. It was the 10th day of month of Ashwa Yuja. And from that day on, distributing wealth on this day become a custom. Today, if a person doesn't have gold to donate, they distribute the leaves of the shami tree instead. Later, Rama is believed to have defeated Ravana on this day, and the tenth day of this month came to be known as Vijaya Dashmi or Dashera. Since then, the shami is considered as auspicious tree and is also called the tree of gold. Legend also has it that when the Pandavas were in exile for a year, they were afraid that people would recognize them if they carried their weapons along. So they collected the weapons together, tied them with a cloth to a shami tree and entered the city of Viratnagar unarmed. The tree thus became a great source of help during their exile. Today, people all over the country celebrate Vijaya Dashmi after nine days of Navratri and the worship of goddesses Durga. On the tenth day, leaves from a shami tree are kept in a box and distributed to friends and relatives. People touch the feet of elders and say, please accept these shami leaves and bless us so that we prosper in our lives. This is the end of the story. Do you like it? Then tell me in the comment box and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching guys.